Being head chorister basically involves keeping everyone in line. Um, I have a deputy, which helps a lot. Before Mr Lumsden comes to take our practices, we have to take a warm-up. Obviously, I like singing. Um, my dad sings a lot. He's in the Bach Choir. My brother was a chorister as well, and you had to go on choir tours and do big carol services and stuff. Oh, I say he's quite good. Well, he's responsible, which is something that I'm not particularly. We choristers get to take a vote on who we think should be the head and deputy head choristers. We get to sing loads of really great music and we stay at the school, so we always get to stay with our friends. They have a very, very busy life as a chorister, there's no doubt about it, um, and a lot is asked of them. But they have an age where it's actually they, they want full lives and they, 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 really, they really do thrive on this. Um, and we always make sure that they have some downtime, of course. We're at school until 5.30 on Christmas Day. All the families come to lunch on Christmas Day and then even song, and most come to the two morning services we do. It's a great atmosphere. Over Christmas, we'll get about, well, over 20,000 people through the cathedral, and so obviously we're doing a lot of concerts and services. I feel a bit nervous, I'm doing a couple of solos, but after you've been a chorister for a while, you um, stop being so nervous before concerts. I do love to perform the carol services because it's not Easter music, which is very sad and depressing. The Christmas music is very exciting and um, lively. I would love to carry on singing and maybe even try it as a career.